Hey, welcome to Non Sequitur. I'm leaving the bank right now, depositing some cash. But, uh, I've been wondering how to do stuff lately, I guess. If that makes sense. Uh, like, I want an easy way to learn new skills. It's not some... It's not Skillshare, let's just say that. I don't like programs like that. Like, don't get me wrong, Skillshare, I'm sure it's a fine thing. But I'm not the type to use that, something like that. Like I would sign up for that and then forget about it. And I don't want to just waste money because I forgot about a subscription that I have. So I'm wanting to like find more of a practical way to learn skills. But yeah, I want to learn. And some of the stuff I want to learn is esoteric, I guess. Like, identifying, like, gems or types of rock and stuff. Geology stuff, like I was talking about in the last video. Or, like, completely average stuff, like cooking and like, budget keeping, like, uh, I've said before. I'm trying to learn. I'll, I'm not. Uh, I want to learn so many things, and I don't know. My ADHD is too bad for me to just like, look it up online and then immediately practice those skills. Combine that with the fact that I don't have. most of the, like, working stuff that you need to learn. The simple stuff you can do at, I can do at home. And I don't really have time or money to do, like, any of the bigger stuff that doesn't really need. Uh, money and stuff, like, I don't live in an area where I can go out and do a lot of that stuff without driving for super long periods of time. Texas is a big place filled with a lot of stuff, but it's all far away, no matter where you are. So, I don't know. Look, I was watching... Uh, a YouTuber called, I think it was Dan Hurt, was his name, who, like, shows a bunch of stuff, like, mining, or finding, like, gemstones and stuff along our riverbanks. I would love to go and do something like that. It doesn't even matter if I find anything. I think it would just be something cool to do for a while. Or, uh, something like how to make everything. I would love to do something like that. Like... I wouldn't make a channel out of it like he has. I wouldn't even do it for like long periods of time. It's like, this is how you make papers. Like, that was such a cool idea to me. I don't know. I've got so many ideas and concepts that I want to do, but I don't have. A good portion of it is I don't have the motivation to go out and do stuff myself. Because it can be hard to find the motivation to do stuff. And I'm working on that with 
stuff like this YouTube channel and me just like forcing myself to go out and do stuff like a lot of motivation stuff like that is about momentum if if I can get myself to start doing stuff and I can do it on even a somewhat regular basis like several videos every couple of days and then a couple of weeks break like what I've been doing to this channel uh, I'll slowly get used to that and that'll become my default then I can start making videos slightly more often uh, pushing myself just a little bit until that becomes my default but that also leaves me with all just sitting there pining to do stuff, but I don't have the motivation to. Like, if I absolutely wanted to, because I have a couple of days off right now, I could drive down to that park by myself, because uh, it's two hours away. Drive down there, just pick up a couple of random fossils that I like, and then drive back. It would be no big deal for me. But the two main reasons why I don't do that is because I I cannot get it into my head that yeah, that's just something that I can do whenever I want now. And I want to take my girlfriend along, like I mentioned. It's something I think she would enjoy too. So I want to bring her too. And I'm going to partly be relying on her for the motivation to go do that. Get her excited for it. And then just the two of us go out exploring one week or something. But I don't know. If anyone watching this, assuming someone does, knows the secret to great motivation, leave it in the comments so the rest of us can figure it out. Bye.